Hello, my name is Edwin Birnbaum. I'm here with my wife, Diane. On the night of December 2nd, to our great grief and sorrow, we lost our son, Jonathan, in the ghost ship fire. Andy Kershaw, whose wife, Amanda, also died in the fire, is here with us. These are the faces of the victims of the fire. They include creative artists of all kinds, painters, sculptors, dancers, singers, musicians, along with supporters of music and the arts from diverse parts of society. This is Jonathan at a happier time at a Thanksgiving family reunion. He's in the center wearing a t-shirt of Katabatic, a sound art collective he belonged to. Jonathan was a visual projection artist who performed around the world. He had come to enjoy an evening of music with his friends. He and the other victims died because soaring costs in the Bay Area have driven musical events into death traps like the ghost ship and made it increasingly difficult for young artists to find safe places to live and work. This is a problem not only in the Bay Area, but throughout the country. As a positive solution, I and two friends, Beth Jay and Tom Dolan, have started Vital Arts, a project to honor victims of the ghost ship fire by providing safe, affordable housing, work, and performance spaces for artists of all kinds. We're partnering with CAST, Community Arts Stabilization Trust, a respected nonprofit that works to support the arts and culture. It's in converted warehouses like this one and other places we are trying to save that artists come together to live, work, and inspire each other and produce new forms of art and music. Vital Arts is based on the premise that groundbreaking arts and culture are essential to the vitality and health of society at large. Without this kind of innovative art and culture, Cities in the Bay Area are in danger of becoming bland, soulless places. We hope that what Vital Arts does here will provide inspiring models that can be replicated around the country and even abroad. Places like these are incubators for new forms of art and music with far-reaching implications. My son Jonathan learned and honed his craft as a VJ, a video jockey, in small spaces here in the Bay Area and went on to create computer-generated patterns on LED screens for huge DJ and electronic dance music events around the world. We estimate that 200 million people saw his work live. Here is a sample of what he created. I hope it inspires you to visit our website, vitalarts.org, and learn more about what we are doing to support art and culture and honor victims of the ghost ship fire.